Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Carol the Diva. Today I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different from what I usually do. I'm gonna do a ponytail, but I'm gonna style the front of my hair before I put the ponytail in. I'm gonna go ahead and part off the front of my hair that I'm gonna do the style in. And the back of my hair, I'm gonna put it in a bun until I'm done with the front. Okay, so now I have some elastic bands which I'm gonna use to style my hair. I'm gonna put them in this little thing right here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add some oil to it, and this will help to prevent the elastic band from breaking my hair. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do my first parting and I'm gonna do it a little bit slanted and the rest of them I'm gonna do to follow that one. So you see how I made it a little bit slanted? I don't want it straight because if I do it that way I'm not gonna end up with the style I'm trying to achieve. I'm gonna be using my BTL braiding gel on my root to make my partings more defined. I'm also going to use it on the rest of my hair to sleek every section just the way I want it. As I'm doing this, I leave out some of my edges to allow me to make some baby hair when I'm done. I'm taking my first parting out and I'm going to use a rubber band to hold it tight at the rope. I comb through it to make sure it's nice and straight and now I'm going to take out my second section. As for the first section, I'm going to hold it in with the rubber band onto the second section and then I'm going to do the same, hold the second section into the third section and this is how I'm going to create the style. Now I'm going to go ahead and do a second row and what I'm doing is very easy, very self-explanatory. So, I mean, I really think you guys could manage something like this if you try. So this section, I think I'm going to do it in three just like I did the first one. But I think the other one up, I'm going to do it in four. So it just depends on how big of a space you have. You could do three, you could do four, it doesn't matter. Original 
Now that I'm on the other side, I parted slanted as you can see just like I did with the first side. I know I'm going to go ahead and repeat the same steps until I get up to the middle. So I've completed putting all the elastic bands in my hair so now I'm just going to oil my roots because I'm going to be keeping this hairstyle in for a while and I don't want my hair to get too dry. Now I'm going to go ahead and put all the hair that I have left out in the back up into a bun. I'm gonna use my very favorite edge control from Edge Effect to lay my edges. First, I apply the edge control onto my edges and then I use a small edge brush to brush them how I want them. Yeah. 
Now I'm going to use my foam wrap lotion from BTL to hold my hair in place and keep it nice and neat. Next I'm going to use my rapid styling strips to tie it down and I'm going to use two strips from the box and I'm going to leave it to dry and while it's drying I'm going to do my makeup. So the ponytail that I'm going to put on the back of my hair is from this company called Lavy Hair or Lavy Hair. With the hair I got this second cap, you guys know I use these things all the time. I got two ponytails, I was expecting them to be different but I realized they are the same. This is what the hair looks like out of the pack. As you can see, it has this extra piece of string on it, which contains more hair that I'm gonna be wrapping around the root of my ponytail. I realized that having a bun in the back of my hair under my ponytail would be too thick. So I went ahead and tried to do something that will be more skinny to go under the ponytail that will work better. Now I'm going to pin the ponytail in at the root of my hair and then I'm going to secure it using that extra piece on the side. And that extra piece on the side does have a velcro on it so it helps to secure the hair in. Since I have two ponytails and I only need one, I'm going to go ahead and do a giveaway for you guys. If you can guess how many elastic bands I have in the front of my hair, you could win the other ponytail that I don't want and also some other products that I like to use in my hair. Make sure to check the description box for the rest of the entry rules or you may lose your chance of winning. So here I am with the finished look guys. I went ahead and did my makeup. I come back, my hair is nicely in place and looking just the way I wanted it to. So the ponytail definitely looked nice, but for some reason I feel like I would love it to be more dense because I don't know. I, I personally love a lot of hair on my head, especially depending on what style I'm looking for. And right now we're in a ponytail, I would love for it to be bigger. It's just me, it's just my preference. Other than that, I don't have anything bad to say about the hair. It is very nice, it has a nice curl pattern to it. The texture feels really good and it does not shred at all. This hairstyle took me about an hour and a half to do, but it was definitely worth all the time spent on it because I really like it. Please give this video a thumbs up. If you find it helpful, I would highly appreciate it. Also, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and leave them down below in the comment area and I'll get back to them as soon as I possibly can. If this is your first time on my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. I would love that and hit the notification bell so you will be notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!